Hi everyone, my name is Edema, and today I am walking along the Bre Be Bear, wait, is that right? Yeah, I think it's Bear Creek Trail in um, Ashton, Oregon, and as you can see, the day is absolutely gorgeous. There was an immense amount of rain and um, cloudy, stormy weather that hit overnight, but we woke up to some beautiful blue skies and really warm temperature. Um, so I'm sitting right in front of the uh, creek itself. You could probably hear the flowing waters. And um, what I wanted to share with you today I just came out of um, an art class that I've been taking here, just kind of really inspiring my creativity and having an outlet to be able to express some of the um, points of view that I have through art. And my teacher has so many wonderful things that he says that are related to drawing and to being an artist, but are also really related to clairvoyance. Um, he talks about an artist having the ability to learn how to see and basically to see what is there instead of trying to assume or make things up and um, really just training the eye and using perspective to be able to um, express. So I also have been doing a lot of studies um, with my clairvoyance space and I'm a professional psychic reader and have worked my, my sixth chakra, the third eye, which is located in between the eyebrows, right above the forehead. And so I'm thinking that today, just sort of um, given the inspiration from art class, given the beauty that I see all around me, and I also happen to be wearing the associated color purple, I will take you through a couple of eye exercises. Um, I've used and taken my class through this before when we go to work the sixth chakra. So the sixth chakra is the energy center in your body that correlates to the life aspect of vision and clarity and essentially having perspective in life. It's where you can begin to create the pictures and um, essentially manifest the kind of life it is that you'd like to have according to your own filter and your own lens and perspective of the world. And sometimes when the um, third eye chakra is not balanced or it's overused or underused, there might be problems that are associated with vision or with sight or um, having a problem distinguishing between what's real and what is illusionary. And so when you work this chakra and really activate it and balance and bring it to healing, you're able to draw into the superpowers that it brings, which, um, as I said, is basically seeing the world through the lens that you desire to see it, but then also having that begin to manifest in your life. So you start to, in a sense, be, a ha be and have the opportunity to see things differently. So one of the exercises that I'll take you through today is simply an exercise on perspective. So sitting in a comfortable position, you can do this standing as well. Um, just take one hand out in front of you and take your thumb to face up. Today in art class, we were drawing hands, so I've been looking at my thumb <laughs> quite a bit today. Hello again. So take the thumb face up and then take your focus onto your thumbnail and just take a couple of inhales and exhales as you focus your attention on the center of your thumbnail and as you do that just notice the peripheral vision that you have around you your ability to see things that are in your surroundings without necessarily having to change your focus so i'm seeing sky clouds trees birds even cars and people in the far distance. And after a few moments of focusing on your thumbnail, take your vision to the furthest point beyond your thumb and focus there. What I see on the far horizon
horizon there are some beautiful mountains and hills and more clouds and sky. And when you're looking far on the horizon, then notice how within your closer perspective, you still have a view of your thumb that is in front of you. So now transition your focal point back and forth from the thumbnail to the horizon, doing this a couple of times, getting a bit of a stretch and exercise to the muscles of the eye. All of the points that support vision, that support seeing, sight, and clarity. When you've done this a couple of times, then close the eyes for a moment, take a few deep inhales and exhales, and with keeping the eyes closed, just take your palms to touch and rub them together very briskly so that you create some warmth in the palms of your hands. And once you have the warmth in the palms of your hands, without pressing on the eyeball, just cup the eyes with your palm and let all of that warm, healing energy be absorbed into the eyes, into the eyeballs, through the eye sockets, and breathe. Keeping the, eye, the palms where they are, open the eyes slowly and gently start to lower the hands, just letting the light and the vision and the perspective very gently re-enter into your sight and point of clarity. Once you've released the eyes completely, you can blink a few times, maybe close the eyes for a breath or two. And when you come back to eyes open, just look around. Notice whether there is anything that you see differently. Maybe the colors are brighter. Maybe the texture stands out more. Maybe you could even see the shadows contrasting with the light and noticing how that brings dimension and depth to everything that's around you. I want to say a thank you to my beautiful tree branch that is holding up the camera. It's my camera, uh, high-tech tree branch. So thank you so much, tree. I see you. I see the rest of your branches waving. And thank you to everyone who is watching and listening. Um, enjoy your gorgeous day. Ciao, baby.